Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This is a Lenovo IdeaPad 3. The exact model is a 15IML05. The model name is an 81WB. That information can be found on the bottom of the laptop on the sticker or on the box. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove the RAM, upgrade the RAM for your laptop. I made a really short video uh, that link is in my video description to check your maximum RAM capacity depending based on your CPU. You could have the same model but with a different CPU model version generation so your RAM capacity may be different. So check that video to check what's your maximum RAM capacity and then come back to this video to open it up and replace and upgrade. Right, we have upgraded this one to a 16 gig with no problem. So we're gonna do this right now. So first thing first, power off the laptop completely, flip it upside down, grab yourself a screwdriver set. From this tool set, we're gonna be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with some opening tools, tweezers, and a few other tools. If not, grab the basic set for the opening tool. I'll be using a guitar pick. A metal guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with this on, on hand, we're going to get it started. On the bottom cover, there's a whole bunch of screws. The front row is screw of the laptop, right in the front row. These are the short screws, so you want to keep them in a single different pile. And then mid to the back, they're all the same size. So you should have a two piles of screws on different sizes. So these are the short ones and the long ones. Go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my video, if you find my video helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. I appreciate that. All right. Now that we remove the screws, what you want to do? You want to grab the guitar pick, the opening tool, stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover. You just want to Peel it up like this, work yourself around, go on the side, towards the back corner, to the left and right side, in the back corner right there too, you can do the back rail too, just stick it right in there, and just about one or two millimeters, you're going to have big flex sound, that's what you want to hear. Once you do more time, just lift it up, wiggle it around, and it will release itself. I see that there's an NVMe here, and they put the thermal pad over the screw. And when they screw it down from the top portion, they mess it up. I'm just going to jam this one back in on the other side. There we go. Alright, and right away we can see the RAM right in front of us. To remove the RAM, you don't need to disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary. If you want to do it, you have to pull this cable backward, but it's not necessary. To remove it, you want to put your fingers on the side of this jack right in here, and you want to pull them away from each other. And the, I mean, the RAM and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And then what you want to do, you don't want to lift it up, otherwise you're going to crack the RAM or the dim. You want to slide it towards the back, like that. And the RAM will simply come on. These are DDR4 RAMs. You can get a 16 gig uh, stick. If you're supposed to up to 32, get a 32 stick. This laptop comes with an eight gig. So there's a four gig in here and four gig on the board. You can get a 16 gig stick and it's gonna add up with a four gig that you already have on the board. So pretty much, if you, you get a dual channel no matter what you do here. All right, so get the new RAM. 8 gig or another 16 gig stick. Make sure there's the notch on the RAM. The notch has a little more towards one side than the other. It's not centered. The notch on the RAM has to match the notch right on the dim, right in there. So if I try to put it the other way around, the RAM or chip orientation doesn't mean anything. You could have a RAM with double sided chip or single sided chip, doesn't matter. As long as the notch matches, it will go through. But if the notches don't match, is that focusing? Let me see. There you go. So you see the notches are now matching. So no matter how much I push this one in, it's not going to go through. So what you want to do, you want to flip it in 45 degree angle. 
bring the RAM right inside the slot, squeeze it there, and then simply push it towards the motherboard, and you're gonna see these two triggers open and close, just like that. All right. Now, once you put the new RAM in there, if you have unplugged the battery, plug it back in, grab the bottom cover, bring the bottom cover straight over, squeeze the back side, the side, the corners, and you want to hit all the nice big click sounds right there. And the last thing would be to just put the bottom screws. Remember, the short screws go in the front end of the laptop, and the long screws mid all over the rest of the place. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.